Hi all folks, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, I took a ton of photos last night and tonight also in low light with these two phones, the Pixel XL and the Nexus 6P. And if you have been following me, you know that I rated the Nexus 6P as the king of smartphone cameras in low light. There's no other smartphone that does better in low light than the 6P. That's my personal opinion and also a lot of other reviewers have verified it. Now I really wanted to find out if the Pixel XL lived up to its name. Will it beat the Nexus 6P? Let's go ahead and find out. Hi guys, so on the left we've got uh, Pixel XL. On the right, we've got Nexus 6P. All right, this was last night, uh, right before sunset. And from this photo, you can see both phones did actually really well, very good dynamic range. And you will see it's a lot warmer with the Pixel XL. Now, I would actually say uh, the Nexus 6P actually did better. better. It's actually a little bit bluish color last night, right? So the Pixel sort of gives it a warmer color. Let's go to the next photo here. And this is inside the faux restaurant. You will see again, um, the colors are a lot better. This is red color here. And you'll see uh, the Pixel sort of makes it orange here. All right, and you'll see on the right side here, the Pixel really gets that exposure right with the lights. Um, the Pixel sort of has trouble here, as you can see. All right, and then this next photo of my daughter. Both photos did pretty well. I would actually give this win to the Pixel XL, a little bit brighter. And you can see here, I actually put the light in the photo on purpose. I would probably never take a photo like this, but to show you, um, you can see there's a halo effect uh, that people have been uh, saying about, talking about. It's actually a lens flare. I believe it's actually a design flaw. Yes, it is. I think it's a design flaw and it causes other mishaps, which I'll show you here in a bit. Uh, but you can see the Buddha looks a little bit more clear uh, with the 6P on the right. And you'll see, I can see the, um, the uh, pics here a lot better. You can see it's, it does a little bit better. So wind goes to 6P. But you can see there's actually a little bit less noise with the Pixel XL. And also I put the street light on purpose again just to demonstrate that halo effect. Uh, this is really annoying. And I don't think uh, Google can actually fix it. You can see this big circle, ugly circle there. All right, get rid of the light. And here you will see uh, it's very warm here. I don't know why, but the Pixel seems to make everything warm. Right, and you'll see it's a lot more clear with the 6P as far as the photo. I've taken all of these photos uh, with two hands, uh, focused them in the center in autofocus mode. And you will see here, both did pretty well. Um, colors are great, but if you look here, uh, the Pixel XL starts flaring, right? While the 6P sort of gives the realistic light. In this next photo, uh, let's go ahead and zoom in in the middle because that's where I was focusing. And here you'll see that the Pixel XL did a little bit better. All right, zoom back, zoom back out. Uh, you can see the light. You see it's um, the 6P does a lot better. And whereas the Pixel XL overexposes the lights. All right, here's a sign of the foe. Again, here, uh, the 6P picks up more details while the XL of sort of, you know, overexposes the lights up here, you'll see, compared to here. And you'll see more details uh, with the 6P. Now, there is less noise with uh, Pixel XL, but this is a problem. Look on the right here, and you'll see, you'll actually be able to see the cans, whereas the Pixel XL, oops, uh, does overexpose it. Now, one of the awesome things about the 6P was that it did not overexpose these lights up here. Um, and Pixel XL seems to have lost that quality, right? Here, I put the light on purpose again. You get that halo effect. Uh, and also, you'll see Sierra Nevada sign here. The Pixel XL exposes while the 6P does not. 
All right, in this low light photo here, the Pixel XL does very well in picking up a little bit more detail. All right, so it's sometimes one out of like five times the Pixel XL will do better, but most of the, most of the time I feel like the Nexus 6P does better. Uh, both of these photos did pretty well, I would say. Not too much difference in details or anything like that. Uh, in this next photo also both did really well. Uh, but the, I feel like the 6P picked up the real colors, whereas again, the XL Pixel uh, seems to like warmer colors. I don't know why, but that's how it processes the photos. In this next photo, um, again, slightly warmer, slightly cooler. As far as detail, about the same. Not too much of a difference. Here also, let's actually go ahead and zoom in. All right, and you will see about the same. Um, the Pixel XL, maybe a t tad bit more detail, but not a huge difference. And in this next photo, let's go ahead and zoom in in the center here. That's where I was focusing. Both phones did actually really well. Now, this was like right before sunset. So if there was some light, uh, not too dark, then it seems like Pixel XL does a little bit better or does just as well at 6P. All right, in this also photo also, both did uh, very well. And you'll see literally not too much be uh, difference between the two, about the same. All right, here's another photo, uh, both did really well. So this was right before sun went down and both phones actually seem to be on even uh, plane here. Not, not a huge difference, right? About the same, exactly the same actually. Just warmer versus a little bit cooler. All right, here you will see a huge difference. See how the uh, XL overexposes these lights while the 6P doesn't. You can see a lot more detail here while the 6 uh, XL overexposes it. See the lights? So this is one of the coolest features of the 6P and it seems like the Pixel doesn't have it anymore. Unfortunately, uh, here you will see again the 6P just kicking ass. Look at this. Overexposed with the open sign with all these lights up here. While the 6P does a great job of controlling those lights. And you will see more of this as the sun gets darker. Sun is actually getting darker now. And here, let's go ahead and zoom in in the center, right? And you will see that uh, the 6P actually picks up a little bit more detail. You can actually read the Diana market while the Pixel XL uh, sort of losing detail, All right? And I just feel like the 6P is more, it looks better in this photo. This is a little bit too warm, All right? And here's another good example. And you can see the skies are getting a lot darker. Uh, the 6P is actually showing more of the realistic darkers colors, whereas the XL tries to make it brighter. And in turn, it also makes all these lights brighter. And here you can clearly see the 6P, last year's 6P just kicking ass. It is, this is amazing. Uh, here's another photo. And you can clearly see here, I can actually see the inside of uh, all the details of this while the pixel struggles, all right? And, you know, it's not Pixel's fault. Um, Nexus 6P was such a great camera uh, and there's no nothing, nothing else on the market that beats it right now. And you will see again here, uh, it'll, uh, the Pixel XL overexposes all of these brake lights, right? While the 6P keeps him uh, at the correct levels. All right, here's another photo of getting closer. Uh, and you can see the street lights up here it sort of flares out. It gives it almost an anamorphic effect. Um, I believe that's due to some kind of lens, uh, the way the way they designed it. I mean, it's not a huge flaw, but at night, if you want to take a photo, you can see again here, the street lights just sort of giving an anamorphic effect uh, while the 6P does a lot better. Now there is a slightly less noise with the Pixel, but I would prefer the 6P a little bit more because it's not a huge difference. And you can see, I can actually read the letters of this uh, license plate 
while it's blown out over here, over here. So Pixel XL and Pixel, they both have same cameras versus 6P. And I thought, I thought Pixel will win this test. But as this uh, gets darker, uh, it's 6P wins more and more. Uh, this is Tommy's sandwiches. And you can clearly see here the 6P kicking ass again. Uh, see how all the lights sort of flare out? And I believe that has the same problem with the lens flare and everything. And it just blows out. The 6P looks so much better. As you can see, it's actually very, very dark. Whereas uh, Pixel tries to add more light in turn, it overexposes all these things. I can't even read the license plate here on the Prius. I can clearly read it here. All right, here's another example of a bus. And let's go ahead and take a closer look. And you can see the 6P giving you a lot more details. All right, in this next photo, I went to Golden Gate, took a photo quickly, and you can see the pixel overexposing the lights again, whereas the 6P does a great job. A lot better job. All right, this is pretty much complete darkness. And here I actually took two photos just to make sure the 6P uh, was able to really pick up the details of this sign while uh, the Pixel XL lost it. And in this last photo, it's, it's just completely dark. Both photos, I don't like it. I mean, in this photo, you can see there's a little bit more light with the Pixel XL. But, I mean, it's not a ton better than the 6P. All right, guys, so the results are very fascinating. I would still say the Nexus 6P is king of low light. Unfortunately, I love my Pixel XL. Uh, I, know, I know some of you bought this phone thinking it has the best camera. Now, DxO Mark only tells you the overall uh, numbers. It doesn't actually include just the low light photos. They include like videos, stability of videos, um, stuff like that. Now, in this test, I only tested low light capabilities of photos of these phones. And I'm telling you that the 6P is still better than the Pixel XL. The results actually surprised me. Now, when I was doing initial tests inside my house, when I was just taking some photos of plushies in low light, the Pixel XL seemed to do better, brighter. But when I actually went out in the real world and took photos in the streets of San Francisco, uh, the results were fascinating and it seems like the Pixel XL image processing is not up to par to the Nexus 6P when it comes to low light and especially dealing with lights and that was why the Nexus 6P was king. It would always expose the lights correctly better than any other smartphone out there. So if you still own a Nexus 6P, just know that you still have the best low light camera in the world as far as still photos go. I'll have a stability test of the 6P versus also XL coming soon. But for right now, the 6P definitely wins. Now, if you guys want to check out the original photos I took, I will zip them up, put them in the description. You can check out the original photos I took side by side and give your opinions to me about it. Um, you know, you can check out, you can actually check out the ISO shutter speed that was used on both of these phones. Yeah, but the bottom line is I'm not gonna lie to you, the 6P is way better than the Pixel XL. I can do this test again, but the results are gonna be the same. And I feel like now the Pixel XL is really overpriced. Google should really cut the price now. And especially with the halo effect, with the lens flare, um, I think it's some kind of design flaw they did not check. And it does also affect how, you know, bright lights are processed with the Pixel, unfortunately. Anyway, have a great day, folks. Don't forget to thumbs up for me. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.